well, this video, we're doing it because it's an important thing to understand that the, what the trust is doing and why we're doing it, right? And so uh, over here, we're looking at, you know, how a, um, you know, can a grantor be the trustee of his irre irrevocable trust? And, um, and they're saying, well, you know, you look at the tax laws, it says as soon as you do that, the individuals are fucking subject to income tax. The grantor is going to be seen as an individual. Well, they're really proposing that the grantor is now an individual. Um, but, and this is like, some people that want to use the trust to shelter something. So like, say I want to take this, a trust and hide this house in it and shelter it and give it to my kids, my son. Well, I can't live in it and enjoy benefits of it because it becomes subject to income tax at this point and property tax and all kinds of things, okay? Because I pulled it out of the shelter by being the beneficial user of it at the time because that equity says you gotta have clean hands and you got it right now. So. The role of the trust isn't about sheltering your stuff while you live. That's not the goal. The goal of the trust is to avoid the, irre the living irrevocable trust is only to set up the transition point upon your death to avoid probate and just hand it over to whoever you need to immediately they get it with a death certificate, like the bank account. They will have instant access to it upon your death, right? The trustee can now dole it out to the beneficiary and yada, 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 right? It avoids probate immediately, which will suck out everything from the accounts. They'll tax it to death if it's in their, in their jurisdiction. So it's, that's the step you're trying to avoid is your death. You're not trying to use the irrevocable trust to live now because it's an unlivable state unless you're putting that in there and you do put the stipulation into your trust that I want beneficial use until I die. And you invite the IRS to come knock on your door because when they find out who the grantor is, is a diplomatically immune person who sits with equitable title, not a legal title, and it's checkmate. The, you've now protected your living time because the diplomat ambassador under God has that diplomatic immunity to not be taxed or any of those things that they want to put on you. You're just completely immune from their tax codes and all that stuff that they want to throw. It's one of the things you see clearly in the diplomatic immunity thing. But to live with your stuff in the trust as a protection, man, that's not the wisest thing. You got to set up the status, correct the birth date on the citizenship, get your stranger status established and use this so that your assets can be passed on to avoid probate and you can enjoy the benefits of it as well. So that's the understanding now of the irrevocable trust. We're doing the most important thing, which is changing the birthday. The trust doesn't allow you to live with it. You know what I mean, they're now within reason, obviously, the drive, you know, some people I know are gonna put things like a driver's license into a, a trust, right? And I'm like, oh, it's great now. You know, how you gonna drive around, you're gonna put that away, then you're gonna pull it up in court. It's kinda neat because you can set up the trust to be like the trustee, you know, fifty thousand dollars appearance fee, you know, and just show up to the court. Now all of a sudden you don't want to show up to court to pay that fee. So um <clears throat> I understand now how I'm using this irrevocable trust. It's not the shelter for my living. It's in the trust for my kid. So it is, in a sense, safe that it's in a trust and they shouldn't be messing with it. But hey, the, the judges will run from this. But the, the IRS will be like, that's taxable. They'll be like, hey, no, it isn't because 
the grantor is an ambassador servant to the Lord, we are diplomatically immune from your taxation. And they are run away at that point too. So that's the sum total of this uh, understanding that you can be the trustee of an irrevocable uh, living trust. So really cool to know and contextualize these, you know, dead man laws. Anyways, may this serve only the elect. Um, pause this now. <laughs> what did you 